Hi, this is Todd with Secrets of Home Theater and High Fidelity. Today we're going to be taking a close look at the complete Dolby Atmos system by Golden Air. Golden Ear, uh, if you've been around the last five years or whatever in the audio uh, industry, you know that they have been coming out with some of the uh, uh, top of the line products on the market and they come in at a very affordable price, relatively speaking, to some of the stratospheric uh, uh, prices that are out there. You get a tremendous amount of bang for your buck and we decided, we went to the Axpona show in uh, Chicago in April. Uh, we got to sit down and talk to uh, Jack Shaft and the VP of Sales and Marketing, and we talked about uh, doing some reviews. And one of our other uh, reviewers for Secrets, uh, he had already had his name uh, on the uh, Triton Reference, which is their brand new speaker. Uh, so I shot the idea uh, to him about doing something a little bit different. What if we come up with kind of a super system, so to speak, and do a review on it? Thought it was a good idea. Spoke to Sandy Gross of, uh, of Golden Air as well. He signed off on it. Next thing you know, I got a couple pallets worth of, uh, of products arriving here at the house for uh, review. And when I'm talking about pallets, it's because if you look at uh, the speakers behind me, they are large. They're about five feet tall a piece, weigh about 110 pounds. They are a serious speaker. Uh, and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about what I have uh, in the rear as my surround speakers. Uh, at the same time. So Golden Ear, um, fantastic products. If you're watching this video, hopefully you, you're reading the review at the same time, or I'm gonna go into a lot more details about it, but if you're catching this on YouTube, make sure you go over to hometheaterhifi.com, take a look at uh, the actual review that goes along with it. We'll also put uh, a link in the description there. But the uh, Triton Reference, it's their brand new flagship speaker that they uh, introduced for the first time at the CES show uh, in 2017. Um, top of the line, coming in a little bit higher price than what they've done before at $8,500 for the pair of them. You might think that's a lot of money, but what you get out of them, it's really a drop in the bucket relative to high-end speakers that, uh, that are out there. In addition to having um, just an amazing sound to them, they've got built-in 1800 watt uh, amplifiers for the subwoofer section. So I've got 1800 watt sub here, I've got 1800 watt sub over there. Nice thing about that is if you've worked with a subwoofer in your room, um, a lot of times you can place where that sub is coming from, where the sound is coming from. With having them in each speaker, it helps even uh, everything out. Now the, uh, the Triton reference, they're not just a a little bit of an upgraded bigger brother to the Triton Ones that had been at the top of their line. It's a completely new design. Uh, all the drivers are new, the, the amplifier is new. Um, it, they really built it from the ground up to improve on uh, everything that they had done uh, previous to that point. Now, the Triton Reference, they just received our Speaker of the Year Award and our annual uh, awards, so you might wanna go on there and take a look at that uh, as well. But if you look at Sandy Gross's products from Golden Ear, you'll see that they're, they win Speaker of the Year in just about every publication that's out there. You get a lot of bang for your buck. So we've got those at the very front as our mains. In the center, we're using their Super Center uh, XXL speaker, which is the top of the line center channel speaker that they offer. $1,250 uh, for it, blends in nicely with the front. Up in the ceiling, we've got their HTR 7000s. We've got four of them up there. Those run $1,000 a pair. Very nice uh, ceiling speakers. They've had those out for a few years now, but they blend in well with the system. And now part of the uh, fun part of the system is what we have in the back. We've got their Triton Ones in the back. Triton Ones up until this new speaker, the reference had been their top of the line speaker. It's just a little bit smaller, uh, so you've got some massive speakers back there. They also have built-in subwoofers at 1600 watts uh, per speaker. So I got 1800 watts times two up front. I've got 1600 watts times two in the back. Uh, what that equals to is a lot of fun. Uh, this system, without going into too much detail because I want you to read the article, it's much more than bass, but the bass is amazing. Uh, I had a JL Audio sub in here before, F113. Fantastic sub, absolutely loved it. And when I first uh, turned the golden ears on, 
I, I thought that the bass was a little bit less, but it was better in all ways. It's smoother, uh, it, it's, it's tighter, uh, it's fuller. It gives you more of what you're looking for in bass, be it for movies or uh, concerts uh, or just listening to regular two channel uh, music. Just amazing bass on them. I have some uh, LPs that I use on my VPI Prime Signature turntable that all of a sudden it sounds like you're listening to big electro, electro stack speakers. Amazing sound from top to bottom. This system is much, much more uh, than just bass. So in our review, we're gonna be talking about it, uh, you know, doing two channel listening. We're gonna be talking about the system in full Dolby Atmos mode uh, for movies. We're talking about concert uh, footage that we watch uh, and then up mixing into Dolby surround so we can take advantage of the uh, HTR 7000s that, that are in the ceiling. As a part of our uh, system that we're using, we've got a new uh, Anthem AVM60 processor that we're using. Uh, right now I've got an Integra nine channel amp, but tomorrow I'm receiving a new M27 uh, NAD seven channel amp uh, that's in there. So I'll do some comparisons to, to both uh, of those in there. And for the front speakers, I've got a massive Pass Labs X350.8, 350 watts a channel. And when you talk about the uh, golden ears being very sensitive, 350 watts goes a long, long way. Um, very, very good sound with it. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about uh, a little bit of vinyl use with our VPI or Pass Labs phono preamplifier uh, at the same time. So it's a really fun system. I've had a great time having it uh, here in the house uh, for review. And um, to spoil one thing that I'll talk about at the end of it, this system is absolutely over the top. Bring a smile to your face every single time you play it. It is so much fun. It's so much more than anybody needs in their system, which is exactly why I decided to buy the whole system uh, from Golden Air. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I did not want this to leave the house. Uh, so I decided to make this my permanent reference system for reviewing um, all the other components. So having said that, go on to uh, uh, the uh, article, read all the details about it. Uh, we'll have plenty of photography, plenty of information in there. And then stay tuned because we're gonna be doing a lot more videos uh, like this. Um, make sure that you're going to home theater hi-fi on a regular basis because we're constantly uh, updating it with new uh, reviews and, and a variety of articles, technical pieces, and editorial. There's something in there uh, for everybody. That's about all for today for Golden Ear, uh, Secrets of Home Theater High Fidelity. I'm Todd Cooperwriter. Thanks. We'll see you again next time. <music>